Hey everyone, Rachel Jensen here with Luna Realty Bleeds. We're going to be starting a new YouTube series. This one is called In the Inbox. And over the years of being in real estate, I've compiled the questions from everyone as they're coming in, put them in some sort of organizational buckets. And from there, I'm going to be answering those questions for you through these YouTube sessions. Today, we are going to start pretty basic. I know there are a lot of you who are just starting to tune into Belize, tune into real estate in Belize. And so we're going to start with a fairly basic basic one today. And then from there, uh, add more information and more questions to the series. So the question that I was asked, and this has been asked to me quite a few times, but the, the person that I've noted down asking originally was named Joanne, is named Joanne. And Joanne was asking, how do I get to Ambergris Key? So Ambergris Key is an island off the coast of Belize mainland. It's the largest key. There are over 300 keys here in the country of Belize. Uh, you can see just a couple of them represented over here. But if you take a look at the map, you see that there's a star right there. This is Belize. Belize City. So there's only one international in the country of Belize. It's here in Belize City. So when you're flying in from an international destination, you're going to land here at Belize City International Airport. And then from there, you have the choice to get to the island. Here's the island right over here, Ambergris Key, by either a water taxi or a boat or by airplane. Now, if you take a look on the left-hand side over here, I break it down a little bit more. If you take a plane from Belize City, it's about 15 minutes. There are two puddle jumper companies here, Tropic Air and Maya Island Air. Both of those you can pick up at the international airport. They also have municipal locations in Belize City. So, but I would recommend if you're flying into Belize City, make sure when you're booking that reservation, you're booking from BZE to SPR. SPR is the code for San Pedro Ambergris Key, SPR. Now let's say you're spending some time on the mainland before and you wanna come out to Ambergris Key. There are flights with Maya and also with Tropic that can take you from those destinations to Ambergris, for example, Placencia. There's also Corazal in the north, and you do have direct flights coming into Ambergris Key there, but you can always check that out. Now, let's say you're driving around, you're gonna drop the rental car off in Belize City after you've spent some time on the mainland. I would highly recommend that you book from the municipal airport. That's TZA. TZA Municipal Airport. It is, uh, I don't know, about 40, 50, 60 dollars US round trip less to book from the municipal airport than it is the international. But if you're coming in from flight and international, it's going to be a lot more convenient for you to just book directly from international airport to get to San Pedro. Uh, in addition to that, there is a helicopter. And I've met a couple of people who, if they really wanted to surprise their special someone, they do have a private helicopter that can pick them up at the international airport and then take them over to the island that runs about a thousand US though. So it certainly, uh, certainly has a cost associated with it. And then also some private planes. If you have a private plane, uh, you probably you'll land there in the international airport and then make your way over to Ambergris Key. Do note that sometimes the planes will stop off at Key Cocker first. And Key Cocker is this island over here. This is our sister island. So if they do stop at Key Cocker, please don't get off the plane there. You'll continue on to Ambergris. Ambergris would be the second stop. Uh, now, if you're going to take the boat, it's about an hour and a half from Belize City to get from the mainland Belize City to the island of Ambergris Key. And important, note that this boat typically does stop in Key Cocker. We had some clients who were coming over from the city a couple of weeks ago who, uh, who were taking the boat over. And we had a specific time to meet at the park where the boat comes in on Ambergris Key. And like, all right, we're here. We're by Atlantic Bank. There's an Atlantic Bank close to the water terminal there on the island or here on the island. And so I called them and it was about 45 minutes at this point after they were supposed to arrive. And I was like, hey, where are you guys? Like, we're by Atlantic. We're by Atlantic. I'm like, well, what do you see around? Do you see a big San Pedro sign? They're like, no, there's a big sign that says Key Cocker. They ended up getting off in Key Cocker, had to wait for the next boat to come over to Ambergris Key. So just note that uh, it typically does stop at Key Cocker, not always. So just make sure that you're asking somebody before you get off the boat. They do typically announce as well where they're stopping. It may be a little hard to hear if the boat's crowded, but just make sure you're double checking before you get off the boat. So we have two boats, Caribbean Sprinter and then San Pedro Belize Express. You're able to catch both of those from uh, Belize City. Now, if you are coming, you can come in from Corozal or from Chetamal. Chetamal is actually up over here. It's in Mexico. There is a direct boat that comes directly in to Ambergris Key from Chetamal. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes. And the other thing I want to mention too, is if you're coming through the border, so you can go through the border over here, Chetamal, that's in Mexico. Or if you're going over by the border here, bordering Guatemala, you can do a land border. Uh, and then base from there, depending on where you want to go, you can either get a cab 
and they could you know drop you off at the water taxi or uh, you could fly over but you can uh, figure out the best way for you to get here from where you are coming from so with that i hope that's helpful feel free to contact us as other questions come up and uh, we look forward to seeing you here in belize bye everyone